Okay, here's a simple but hopefully fun demonstration of if statements uh, using a small application uh, which is basically a guess a number game. Um, so here's our form design. We have a new game button. We have a place to enter our guess. Uh, we have the guess button to register our guess and then a display uh, of a text box down here where, where we'll give you hints uh, higher or lower uh, in case you didn't get the guess on the first try. Uh, this is simply a text box that we've made uh, a little bit bigger. Uh, normally, with a text box like this, notice you can't resize it um, to accept multiple lines. So there's actually a property called multi-line uh, that I've changed the setting on this one. So for this text box, I set multi-line equal to true. Uh, after I did that, I could drag the text box a little bit bigger so I can fit uh, more in the display. Um, I've also set the scroll uh, property and so the scroll bar will have a vertical scroll bar uh, so as I add to the display it should be able to scroll up the screen. Uh, you have a choice here of, of none, horizontal, vertical uh, and I chose vertical so uh, as enough text gets into this text box the scroll bar will enable. Okay, So that's the form design, the graphical form. Uh, let's step through the code here. Um, first of all, I have two private variables here. One is actually a random object. Uh, that's going to be used to create our random numbers for our game. Uh, it's the basis for m most games. Uh, the randomness of the game is kind of what makes it fun. Otherwise, you're playing the same game every time. So this is key. This object actually has a next method that will let us pick our next random number. So when we select a new game, uh, one of the first things we're going to do is select a random number. This is the formula to make the number be between 1 and 100 inclusive. Um, and we're going to store that in a variable called secret number, okay, which is an integer. And then we'll set the prompt uh, for that bottom display. This is the text display. Uh, we'll tell the user guess a number between 1 and 100. Okay. Uh, after that point, they're going to enter a number here to guess. Okay, and then click the, the guess button, and we will convert that from text to an integer. Okay, and guess. The next thing, the very next thing I do is clear out the text box, so it's ready to enter another guess. Okay, so that's one of those cases where it's important to take the text uh, out of the text box, store it in a variable. Uh, because we're going to clear that out, okay? But we'll still have access to the value because it'll be stored in that variable, okay? And then all that's left to do is see if they guess the right number. So then we'll do our if statement. If the guess is greater than the secret number, then we need to tell them to guess lower, okay? So we'll add that to the display. So text display dot text equals lower than. So it's going to say lower than whatever number we guess. VBCRLF is carriage return line feed that will actually push um, the remaining text to the next line. So I don't want to get rid of everything that was there. So notice I'm taking the display text property and I'm including it back in the assignment statement. So whatever was there uh, in previous steps of the game will still be there so I can kind of see a history. Uh, in the very next step if it's less than that then I need to tell them to guess higher. Okay, similar code, and then if it happens to be equal, uh, then I prompt and say, okay, you guessed it, the number was uh, what, it, what it was. Okay, so let's run it and see how this works. And it pops up, we have to click new game, and it says guess the number from 1 to 100, so let's guess right down the middle and say 50. Okay, it's higher than 50, let's say 75, higher than 75, let's say 90 lower than 90 okay and you get the idea of how the game works okay so we finally got it we guessed it the number is 86 uh, if we want to start over then we click new game and it's got another uh, another number ready to go okay so that's a simple game setup using if statements Notice there's kind of a simulated loop in here, but there's not really a loop statement. We haven't put a while in here. 
the loop is kind of uh, almost implied by uh, this event procedure. Each time we click, it's going through this process. Okay, so we as the user um, kind of become part of that that game loop. Okay, so that's a demonstration of using some simple if statements to create uh, a small game um, that we can have fun with.